one of my early professional experiences was when I was working as an intern for uh, an environmental, non-governmental organization. This group was really interested in advocating for a particular approach to managing an adjacent wildlife refuge. I was asked for them to uh, write a white paper summarizing the science on an elk disease that, that this refuge had problems with. And so I set about doing all of the background reading. I looked in the journals that I thought would have relevant insights. They were mostly ecology-oriented journals, conservation biology journals, uh, even uh, veterinary science journals, but coming from a very uh, ecosystem-centric perspective. And what I found was that elk that aren't fed don't carry this disease. They cannot pass it from uh, one animal to the other. Elk that are fed are unnaturally crowded and they occur at higher densities than they would otherwise exist in. And, uh, and when they're managed in that way, the disease spreads like wildfire. So my summary of the science suggested to me that the answer was simply to reduce the crowding of the elk. The way you do that is minimize or change the feeding regime. And I thought it was a pretty straightforward answer. And so I wrote a white paper that summarized those insights and I started floating it by uh, others in the community who might be interested in the first people I presented the information to. This was entirely compatible with their prior notions of how this ecosystem should be managed and they, they accepted my scientific conclusion without hesitation. Uh, but as I started to go slightly further field in terms of uh, speaking with stakeholders who aren't, weren't already on board with my management preferences, they had their own fully developed scientific narrative that was rooted in a different set of, of academic journals. And these were journals that were peer reviewed. They were legitimate. They were, had you know, all of the prestigious characteristics of good journals, but they came from a more veterinary science orientation. And the, the science that these other folks were presenting, or they argued back to me with, suggested that what we need are better vaccines. Um, we can vaccinate elk against this disease. The vaccines we currently have don't work terribly well, but that to them was an opportunity to do further research and improve the quality of those vaccines. And what I realized from that experience was there is not a single scientific explanation or understanding of this policy situation. In fact, there are at least two um, simultaneous explanations that wise and savvy and technically informed people could have and science was not gonna settle this issue. The divisions came not from an asymmetry in access to science and technical information, came from just divergent values from the outset. You know, what are the ecosystems for? What's the best way of approaching natural systems? To what extent is this a natural system versus a managed one? So uh, the divisions were all about values and about politics and science was not gonna settle this one.